Hello out there. Um, my name is Megan and I am going to do a review of Lumi. Um, it is a new natural deodorant that came out. It was developed by an OBGYN physician um, and the goal of it is to prevent odor um, before it even begins. Um, I have most of the scents here. This one was Silver Sage. Oops, I'm sorry. Silver Spruce. Um, and it is sort of a masculine scent, but I do feel comfortable enough wearing it as a woman. And actually, I wore it today. Um, it's got a little bit of, I would say, a musky uh, smell with it, but it is definitely clean smelling and very uh, smooth to, to the nose. It's not at all um, too strong of a scent, and it does not um, prevent me from wearing it as a woman. And I am super sensitive to strong smells. I uh, don't even have my husband wear cologne most of the time. Um, so I do enjoy these fragrances on these uh, deodorant propel sticks. This one is Jasmine Rose. It's my favorite. It's almost empty. But um, it is very light and certainly feminine. Initially, I thought that the rose smell was too much with it. But after I used it for a week, I really came to enjoy the floral, um, it almost is fruity smell. Uh, and these scents on these um, products, these Lumi products, are, uh, they only last for about, I would say a half an hour strongly, and then it starts to dissipate. Um, this scent is the, their initial scent that they had released, and it is Lavender Sage. Um, I gifted my mother-in-law the Juniper Berry scent, so I actually don't know how that one smells. Um, but she plans to use it next because she's using the first stick I gave her, which is the Lavender Sage. And the Lavender Sage, um, again, guys, these scents are all my favorite, but the Lavender Sage is very much lavender forward. There's a small bit of the sage scent in there, and it's super feminine, although it could be worn by a man, um, and it is very nice to smell, uh, and... It doesn't stick around too, too long, so you don't have to really worry about that. Um, if you're worried, you'll be around somebody who can't tolerate certain smells. Um, I also have the Lavender Sage and the Unscented in these tubes. Um, I like to have the product in these tubes because it allows me to better apply the amount I need, which is less than a pea size um, per each pit. Um, and then I about a pea size that I put into... Uh, my abdominal folds and underneath my boobs because we all sweat there and certainly sweat seems to bring odor. So the great thing about Lumi is that you can put it anywhere externally, even on your feet. If you have an odor on your feet and you notice your shoes stink, start to put it on your feet and it should help take down that uh, bad body odor from them. Um, the propel sticks, the one thing that I am caught up on is that no matter how much I turn the little dial at the bottom, it's always too much. So I end up back turning the dial and kind of tapping it on the counter to get the product to go back in because you can easily over apply um, the product in these propel sticks. Um, they did recently improve the pro propel sticks to uh, three um, whole tube which did improve the volume of product that comes out when you turn the dial. Um, I am so happy to be using this. Like I said, I in my teenage years had to use a prescription uh, prescription medication called Drysol. It was a two-step process and I would use it on my armpits because I had hyperhidrosis and in high school you kind of get made fun of if you're always got sweat stains under your armpits, which I did. Um, so the Drysol was a chemical and it actually felt like I was burning my armpits. Um, so I got over that. I started to use some stick-on pads in my armpits in my young 20s. And then I went to Clinical Strength um, Deodorant, I won't mention the brand, and used that for about the past 10 years. Um, I've always wanted to switch to a natural product because uh, breast cancer runs in my family and I know there's some chemicals in the normal uh, antiperspirant antideodorants that uh, have been linked to breast cancer. So I really didn't want to use them much more long term. Plus, I would get irritated armpits if I shaved them any more than once a day. Um, 
so if I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't shave my armpits daily because they would be so irritated and feel like they were burned when I was using the regular um, deodorant products that you find on the shelf at the drugstore. Uh, so after starting to use Lumi in uh, March of 2019, when it came out pretty much, or that's when I started seeing the ads for it and they got me because they're really clever ads and they're silly, which is all my style. Uh, when I started using this in March, I was a little bit disappointed because initially I thought I stunk. Um, the product has a bunch of tips to use that you should do before you start using the product, such as preparing the armpits of your old clothes because the armpits and whatever area of your clothes that touch body odor hang on to that smell as well as the old deodorant product that is stuck into the fabric. So they suggest to use an enzyme detergent like Purcell or Nature's Miracle on the armpits and whatever areas that you want to get the body odor out of on your old clothes. Um, some of my clothes were beyond saving. I had them for so long and had worn them with regular deodorant for so long that they, the scent is caked in and no matter what I do, I will have body odor. And it's truly in the clothing. It's not coming from my armpits. Um, I have had no detectable body odor um, since using Lumi by my nose. I did notice that um, on the days leading up to my period, I did have a stronger uh, scent, but it wasn't body odor. It just felt like my natural um, flavor, shall we call it. So I did apply Lumi twice a day. I do apply it, Lumi, twice a day on the, about the week leading up to my period because I've been able to kind of track my body odor and it seems to be affected by my menstrual cycle. Um, sorry if that's too much information, but I feel like women need to know that. And I know men might watch this video too. So um, this product is particularly nice because you can use it externally around your uh, good bits, I think is the, how the company puts it. <laughs> Um, and it really makes a difference. I usually only have to apply once every three days because it keeps working um, when I put it on my abdominal folds and groin area. Um, all in all, I am so excited that this product is baking soda free, paraben free, um, aluminum free, and it is much safer, shall we say, than using the products that they have at the drugstore. Um, I want to do everything I can to reduce my risk for breast cancer and also I want to feel the best I can. With Lumi, my um, armpits have never been happier. They're soft. Um, they, I can shave them daily and have no issues at all, which is super nice because it's summertime and I can wear sleeveless shirts without worrying because when I was using other products, I had to wait like every three days to shave my armpits because of how irritated they were getting. Um, my mother-in-law really enjoys the product too. I, I gifted her it because she's into the natural things, homeopathic things, and she's told me how much she's enjoyed using the product. Um, I really hope I've been looking at the camera this whole time because I've not made one of these videos before and I'm not sure really where to look on my phone and if I look away, it doesn't seem like I'm looking at you guys. Um, but I am here to say that Lumi has made a huge difference in my life. Um, I really, really promote this product and, uh, you know, I'm not paid for this or anything. I'm just letting you know as a human being that if you're looking for a natural deodorant, try Lumi. Give it two weeks of consistent use to allow your body to adjust to not having all those chemicals on it and kind of clear out your skin from all of the held onto um, chemicals from the, over the deodorants that you get at the drugstore. Um, treat your clothing. That is most important. I didn't do that at first and then I ended up buying Purcell and I love the smell of Purcell. So I got a bonus to start to use that on my clothing. It has made a huge difference and any clothes that I bought after March um, that I never used the store deodorant on, I have not had any problems with. I'm, I don't need to treat them or anything because Lumi's water um, soluble so it washes right out of your clothes. Uh, the only time I've had an issue with marks on my clothing is when I over apply Lumi and don't allow it to kind of dry and soak in for about three to four minutes after I put it on. So I've kind of adjusted my um, bathroom routine after my shower to allow for time to dry before I get my clothes on. Um, give, 
shoot any questions my way. Um, certainly like this video if you think that it was good. <laughs> I've never done a review before. I hope I've held up to Lumi's standards. Um, you can buy it uh, by the link in the comment section below. I think that's how that works. All right, this is Megan Thompson and my first product review video. And please give me any pointers. If, if I miss talking about something or you think this was terrible and I should never do another one, let me know. Um, I think this is really a good start. And uh, yay, Lumi!